It's Hobart, and it's five in the morning. Good morning. It's time for the first challenge of the day. Who among you is comfortable in the glamour world of photography? Taking or being <laughs> If it's, if it's having taken, I'm not in there. It's having taken, I've done it plenty of times. Well, we don't know, so let's make a decision. Thank you. Do you want me to go? Okay. Abby, we need to go to the airport. We're taking Abby to Melbourne. It's only when she's in the air that she learns of her challenge to find a celebrity and photograph them with their permission. It will be worth $10,000. But to win the money, the celebrity in Abby's photo will have to be recognised and named by the other three contestants. <laughs> Abby's first idea for celebrity spotting is the Australian Tennis Open. The other three have a different challenge. You will need to choose a sport each from archery, go-kart racing, and bowls. One representative from each. Choose. I've done a little bit of go-kart racing with my children. I did archery in high school. I'll leave it up to you. What do you want to do? Go-kart would be most fun. OK, I'll, I'll try archery. Lindy, you're on bowls. Cool! <laughs> wow, I'm so glad I got up. <laughs> You'll need to make your way to the Rosney Point lookout. On your way. Listen to your instructions. Good luck. Thank you. You've selected your sports. Good. Oh, now them. you must choose your opponents. What do we reckon he is? These three people are all sports champions. One in archery, one in go-karting, and one in lawn bowls. But we're not going to tell you who is who. In fact, look behind you. They're followed. You must each choose who you will compete against, hoping that you don't choose the champion in the sport that you're playing. To win $5,000, you must win just one of the three sports. I reckon the young boy is, is the following. Because there's, there was something recently on the television that said that there was a young teenager and, that, and the sport was most unusual. OK, so who do I want to pick for lawn bowls, the lady or the man? I think the young guy for archery. The lady for go kart. And I'll have the old guy for bowls. What are you good at, you guys? <laughs> good at saying nothing. Good at saying nothing. <laughs> We're used to that. Yeah. They've made their choices. Alan will compete in go karting against Lynn. Jan will compete in archery against Corey. And Linda will challenge Roger to lawn bowls. So have we made the right decisions? <laughs> which person is a champion in which sport? And have the contestants chosen wisely? Only time will tell. In Melbourne, Abby is about to start her $10,000 challenge. She must find a celebrity to photograph, but she must have the celebrity's permission. Hi, Abby, how are you? I'm Steve, I'm your driver for the day. Steve? I believe we've got a nice challenge on. We have indeed. We have. We're going to find celebrities. Are we really? Celebrities? Okay. Celebrities. Well, we better not waste any time. We better, better go. So if you were a celebrity, yeah. where would you want to go in Melbourne? If you're looking for um, a celebrity Chapel Street, if they're doing a little bit of shopping, stopping for a coffee, a bite to eat. Let's travel on to Chapel Street then. Have a coffee and decide what we're going to do. Most definitely. Our celebrity hunting guide. Since this place is pumping. Shops are open at night, yeah. Well, somehow I don't think a celebrity is going to wake up as early as what I did to go shopping. Got Anna playing all courts 11 a.m. start. They're suggesting we might wander down to the tennis. I'd love to, yeah. The tennis doesn't start until later, so Abby tries celebrity spotting at some five-star hotels. No, I'm afraid you, you can't. can't. No, we do, you know, obviously we have to respect the <laughs> privacy of our guests. Well, if you'd like to sit out on the footpath. Sit out on the, the footpath? Yes. 
And I'm sure you might see people coming and going, but I can't actually allow you to. And you can't give us any in the, information in the on who's staying. No, of course not. Of course not. A successful first round. <laughs> Other hotels are no more helpful. We're waiting for approval. Would you mind just actually staying out of our doorway? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Speak oh, it seems it's either too early for celebrities or else they're all camera shy. Either way, Abby's getting nowhere. It's quarter past nine. Yeah. How early would they normally get to the tennis? Well, if they're going to be playing at 11, they're probably, if not already there, on their way there. Well, there's the tennis centre. I don't Abby. think we were the only ones in line of going to the tennis today. No. Somehow. They're getting record There it is. Yeah. So you see any tennis stars walking past? Uh, oh, no, not today. Not today? So I was just wanting to know, do you know what any time anyone that would be very recognisable in tennis is coming? You don't know what time, do you? I'm sure we can get a few photos, but... If you're just stand here? <laughs> oh, not, not here. Not here? Is there anywhere that you'd like to take me where I could get a photograph <laughs> of a snake? Crawling! 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 Crawling will get you nowhere. Oh, fine! Sympathy will get you nowhere. In fact, this security guard does help out. He borrows a security pass for Abby and takes her straight on to centre court. Back in Hobart, Alan is learning how to drive a go-kart. That makes it go, that makes it stop. He's racing against Lynn Senger, who's a sports champion in one of archery, lawn bowls or go-karting. First off, an expert drives round the course to show them how it's done. This is tighter than what it actually looks. So where should you actually be when you're coming around there? The inside of the corner is the shortest way through, but you will drift out, cut in tight and back out wide to let the cart flow. Now it's Alan's turn, and he takes to go-karting like a natural. Lynn doesn't seem as confident. If the practice laps are anything to go by, Alan will have this sewn up. And they only need to win one of the three sports events to win the $5,000. Across town, Jan is competing in archery against Corey Grice. Hold the bow out towards the target. Jan doesn't know which sport Corey is a champion in. Could it be bowls or go-karting? Or is Corey a champion archer? Oh, Schweppes. So that's going to come up. Jan's practice session hasn't been as confident as Corey's. Do you suggest seven? What really matters, though, is how they go in the actual competition. If you look at a bowl, you'll find they're a funny shape. They're not equal like a ball. Linda's opponent at Lawn Bowls is Roger Cripps. He, too, the is a champion at one of the three sports. The but whichever sport it is, he's keeping it to himself. That means if you roll a bowl, it will curve, it won't run straight. The jack is round and rolls like a ball. Good girl. Excellent. That small side has always got to be on the inside, if you're going that way or you're going that way. See how it's turning? I know, Roger, I reckon you've done this before, buddy. I'll tell you what, you both had steak for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> In Melbourne, Abby has been taken into the Australian Tennis Centre in search of a celebrity to photograph. She's been successful, she thinks. Do I see the photo? Yeah, who do you get? You don't understand how difficult it was to get in. I had to, like, sneak through the fast. Yeah, that's it. Tell me who it is. Come on, tell that's me who it uh, is. She's staying at the Park Hyatt. Yeah, That's what's her name. She's been in the news all week. Uh, yeah, I know, but they've got to remember her name. Oh. Uh, Dockage, woo! Dockage. Yelena Dockage. Yeah, yeah, I got it. But in her excitement, Abby forgot that she needs the celebrity's permission for the photograph. She doesn't have Yelena's permission, so it's back to square one. I'm still going to try some more. I'm still going to try some more. In Hobart, Alan and Lynn are on their last practice lap. As soon as they pass the flag, the race will begin. 
Allen's race against sports champion Lynn Senger has begun. Allen's first into the corner and pulls away. The challenge is for Allen, Jan and Linda to win at least one of the events. For Allen to have any chance of winning his race, his chosen opponent, Lynn, had better not be a karting champion. The race will be three laps of the one kilometre course. Alan's taking this very seriously, constantly looking over his shoulder to see where Lynn is. Lynn nearly overtakes, but again, Alan is first into the corner. Lap one, and Alan still holding the lead. The first lap took 47 seconds. The lap record is 33 seconds. Lynn's fighting hard. She's not letting Alan pull away. Alan senses her behind him, but he can't see where she is. Suddenly, she pulls out and in a split second, overtakes him. Alan's lost it. The car's stalled and he's out of the race. Lynn takes off. She laps him. And seconds later, claims the chequered flag. So what happened there? I stalled it. I'd... Watching too much where you were and not paying much attention to what I was doing, I don't think. Yep, it's a bit tricky this corner. Yeah. Actually, this is my home track, and at the moment I actually um, hold the title for the Masters Statewide Consistency Series. To some extent, I'd much rather be beaten by the state champion than by somebody who'd never opened a go kart before. So, I can admit to a little bit of relief that you really do know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alan never had a chance against Lynn, but to win the five thousand dollars, they do need to win at least one of the sports. It's now up to Linda or Jan. Meanwhile, in Melbourne, Abby is still on the hunt for a celebrity to photograph. Is there a celebrity head in Southgate today? It's just going to be potluck as to whether you get anyone having lunch here or... Anyone. Still no celebrity action, and she needs to be on the plane back to Hobart in an hour. As a last resort, she tries South Melbourne. Oi, oi! <laughs> well, we were walking through, and then we spotted... James Hurd and yeah. Jim Wilson. Yeah. I've, just got to, I've just got to take a photo of you, of your smiling, beautiful faces. All right, you ready, James? James Hurd plays for Essendon. Jim Wilson is a Channel 7 sports presenter. Good. But will the other three contestants recognise them? Let's go. Yeah! My pleasure. We've actually got it. Woo! All right. Successful day. Now the other people just have Job to done. be able to recognise it, but successful day. Yeah, hey, she's in position, please. Back in Tasmania, Jan and her sports champion opponent, Corey, have six arrows each. The highest total score will win. Corey scores a seven. Jan's turn. Jan scores a five. Corey could be a champion archer, and if he is, Jan will have no chance. Corey scores another seven. Over at the Taruna Bowling Club, Linda's about to start her game against Roger Cripps. Nah, heads or tails? <laughs> Come on. All right, heads. Schmuck. <laughs> Roger's first bowl looks a bit too good for comfort. Reckon you've done it before. Think you're telling me porkies. They'll each have four bowls. By the end of it, the one with the bowl nearest to the white jack ball wins. Didn't have my waities for breakfast. Roger, you're about six foot short. Linda, you're about nine foot short. Roger's second ball has gone wide. 
At the archery, Jan is lagging well behind Corey. Jan scores a four for a total of nine. Corey scores a six for a total of 20. Jan scores a two for a score of 11. It's a six for 26. Jan scores an eight for a total of 19. They've had four arrows each with two to go. Jan has so far scored 19, Corey, 26. At the bowling club, Roger is closest to the jack. This is Linda's second bowl. It goes wide, then knocks one of Roger's bowls toward the jack. Bloody put you closer to it, I tell you. Roger, you're holding two. Tell you what, Roger, I reckon you've been telling me porky pies. All of Roger's bowls are closer to the jack than Linda's. Linda's got two bowls left. Roger, one. Corey scores the six. Brings him up to 32. Dan scores a five. Corey scores a ten for 42. We're now up to Jan's last arrow. Jan has a running total of 24. Jan scores an eight. Final result, Jan with 32. Corey with 42. Congratulations, Corey. Thank Congratulations, you. Corey. I take my hat off to you. You just cost me a lot of money. <laughs> Jan has lost, as did Ellen. Losing the money hurts, because with only three contestants and the mole left, each contestant now has a one in three chance of winning the lot. The $5,000 challenge now depends on Linda. Their $5,000 challenge is to win one of three sports against three sports champions. Alan and Jan both lost, so now it's all up to Linda. Her next bowl goes well wide. She only has one bowl left. Three of Roger's bowls are closest to the jack. This is his last bowl. It too goes wide. Shot, buddy. Roger's closest bowl is two metres from the jack. Given her performance so far, Linda will have to pull out a miracle to win. And a miracle is just what happens. A ricochet knocks her ball straight toward the jack. She wins it with the very last ball. Linda, your last bowl is shot. You've won the competition. Oh, Congratulations. Right. Oh, buddy. Oh, Not bad for a girl. Excellent. Excellent. Well. So you're going to tell me what you do? Well, I'm the archer. <laughs> I picked you as a go-kart guy. Oh, did you? So I'm, I'm glad you're the archer. Uh -huh. Very uh -huh. glad you're the archer, but I'm also glad I whipped your butt. Well, I'm, I'm glad I wasn't the bowler. I'll have to do it again sometime. Sometime soon. <laughs> Linda has won the group $5,000, but the other two don't yet know it. So the long and the short of it is, um, Corey got the better of you. He did indeed. Hello. How's your day? I'd like to say sensational. Lawn bowls was just a hoot. Lawn bowls was a hoot. So, guys, <laughs> now... the old uh, Taruna Bowling Club went off this afternoon. And uh, how did you go, Ellen? I, I got the state. Go kart racing's fun. <laughs> yes. Slap you later. I got the bloody state go kart champion. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jan, how'd you go with archery? I was um, suitably disgraced. <coughs> now, Linda, you drew the short straw. You went with the lawn bowls. No one wanted it. Have any luck? Welcome to the gold medalist of the Taruna Bowling Club. Uh, yay, team! You won! Yay! yay. <laughs> Gee, I had a fabulous afternoon. <laughs> you guys owe me five grand big time. <laughs> $5,000. Well done. Abby, meanwhile, 
has flown back from Melbourne after her celebrity photo challenge. How successful she's been will depend on the other three. And here comes the last of the musketeers. Hey, Ab. Hello. Hi, Abby. For me? Hi. Today, Abby became a celebrity photographer. She was given a challenge for $10,000 to fly to Melbourne to find a celebrity, a recognisable celebrity, to photograph them with their permission and to bring back the shot so that we could verify it. Have you done that? Yeah, but it wasn't like Hollywood, I'll tell you that. It wasn't Hollywood? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I, I was... All right, what shot number are we looking for? 16. Is there more than one person in the shot? Yes, there is. It's um, person on the left. So we're looking for the individual on the left of frame. Who's that? Talk to you guys. James Hurd from Essendon. James Hurd it is. Yeah, hey. Yay! Yes. The other dude, he's not James bad either. Yeah, I had a good day. <coughs> James Hurd, I didn't see you. You should be oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Your fifteen thousand dollars. Well done, guys. Richard. That's a good day. Well, well done. A very successful day. They've earned themselves an evening off. The following day would be a little more stressful. This is Hobart's Rest Point Casino, and this morning's challenge will be someone's last. It will also be one of the most traumatic. Turn right, head towards the gaming room. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Come on in. Don't be afraid. <laughs> in this morning's challenge, we let fate take a hand. Welcome to Roulette. <laughs> Russian? <laughs> you will each be asked to choose from one of four envelopes. In each envelope are two possible tasks. A spin of the wheel will determine which task you are asked to do. Black will definitely be more attractive than red. <laughs> Black, have an acupuncture session. Red, have your eyebrow pierced. Black, have your hair dyed. Red, have your head shaved. <laughs> oh, you've got Black, to be joking. paint a nude. Red, be painted in the nude. <laughs> and the fourth task involves all three. You must roll three times and complete the outcome of three rolls to have completed the task. Your challenge for $10,000 <laughs> is to complete three of the four tasks. <laughs> I don't believe this. <laughs> you are joking. Not I, at all. I'm not going to have my head shaved. I'm not going to have my head shaved. Or my eyebrow pierced. Actually, none. I'd be painted in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please retire to the bar and decide who's going first? See you soon. Hair dyed is fine. I'm, I'm not supposed to. You're assuming that <laughs> You're it's assuming going to be like I'm going chop. in for a tint. Yeah. <laughs> Jan elected to spin the wheel first. Hello. Hi. <clears throat> Take your pick. Green. Black. Have your hair dyed. Red. Have your head shaved. To win $10,000, three out of four of the contestants have to complete whatever challenge they draw. So any one of them can refuse the challenge and they still can win the money. For Jan, red means having her head shaved, black means having her hair dyed. <laughs> you okay? Abby is next. Good luck, Ab. 
By the way, green's your colour. None of them know what Jan has been asked to do. Here. <laughs> I'm thankful that I don't have to have it shaved because there's just absolutely no way that that would be done. Have an acupuncture session. Red, have your eyebrow pierced. Black, have an acupuncture session. Enjoy. Thank you. Hi. Good morning, how are you? Good, thank you. Jan has gone to the Picasso hair salon. She can always back out before it's too late. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not having that. That's orange. <clears throat> I don't yeah. like any of these. <laughs> This one looks like a Cleopatra. <laughs> Linda's next. That's the love is the baby. None of them know which challenges any of the others have drawn and whether the others have accepted or refused. If you scream when you get your eyebrow pierced, don't do it too loudly. I hate needles. I hate them. I used to always faint every time I had to have an injection. So bad. <laughs> you feel all right? Yeah. Yeah, you feel okay? Do I have to yeah. have one in my head? Not, not in your head. I'm sorry, not in your head. In your, on your face. On oh, my face, right? Yeah. That's better than. <laughs> Do I have a little dot in my head? See what's in. I don't want to see <laughs> Did I see that, Grant, please? We leave now. <laughs> Don't show anyone. Your challenge will be one of the following black, paint a nude, red, be painted in the nude. <laughs> Salamanca Square <laughs> in a shop window. Are there things strategically placed? You'll be given the opportunity to arrange yourself <laughs> and then all form of covering will be taken away from you and you will be painted for however long it takes for that to happen. OK. Salamanca Market's like how many people are there? Hobart. Like, isn't that the biggest market in Australia? <laughs> yeah, okay. You're a brave woman. I'll give you that. Godspeed. <laughs> I can't need it. And we'll see you uh, when you're done. Bring me back a picture. I don't think anyone understands how many people are at the Salamanca market on a Saturday. At the hairdresser, Jan is preparing herself to be shocked. Uh, this turban look looks really good. I think I might keep it. Oh, my God. Is there a problem? <laughs> it's very red. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's got a really good shine to it, and I think that's very important. It looks healthier and a bit oh. thicker. Alan is last, and inside the remaining envelope is the worst challenge of all. <laughs> to spin the wheel three times and to do all three tasks. You've got to be kidding me. Black, paint a nude. Red, be painted in the nude. On each of the spins, red is the worst task. Black is the easier task. Black. 
Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Black, have your hair dyed. Red, have your head shaved. He's been very kind so far, don't you think? Black again? <laughs> Black, have an acupuncture session. Red, have your eyebrow pierced. Yes! <laughs> well done. Three black. Do you accept the task? Uh... Your task is to have your hair dyed, have an acupuncture session and paint a nude. Yep, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I feel absolutely sick. And I can't believe I'm doing this and there's children in this restaurant and I have children and they're just going to kill me and everybody I know is going to die. Okay. Good girl. <laughs> Linda has agreed to pose nude in a cafe in Hobart's Salamanca Market, one of Australia's busiest Saturday markets. She'll have to sit there for over an hour. I'm over the embarrassment. All I have to say is that those guys have better shave their heads and they have better have got that eyebrow pierced. Big time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Later that afternoon, the four contestants arrived, one by one, back at the casino. Wow, that's a new you. Mm. What do you think? Cute or vampish? <laughs> Yes. Yes to both. Do you like the look? It washes out, so I'm told. Oh, is that what they told you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sit down. Hi, sweetie. You've got no visible signs of distress. Oh, boy. Yes. You look like you've been asleep. Oh, four or five hours? Four <laughs> hours. None of them knows who did what challenges. To win the $10,000, they need to have completed three of the challenges. Linda. Linda. Who Linda. are you? <laughs> Sit down. Evening. Would you like a drink, Linda? I'd love a butterscotch schnapps. <laughs> butterscotch schnapps it is. Did Linda, what did you... What did you... Did you paint or did you get painted? There was some form of painting going on. Could I, um... <gasps> could I open them up? Could I? Are they your boobs? They're my boobs. <laughs> I give you Linda. You are unbelievable. You've all done it. You've all been very brave. Linda, especially. Incredible effort. <laughs> Congratulations. $10,000. A clean sweep for this episode. Mm -hmm. $25,000. OK, girls. Hands in. Oh, we need Alan to come I'm through to be part of it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Mate. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> Billy Idol! <laughs> oh. Do you know the worst thing about this? They all smile. did it. You went through all of that for nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. A clean sweep. Cheers. 25000 in the kitty. Cheers, guys. Well done. <clears throat> what a great bunch of people. <laughs> but tonight we have some serious business. The last elimination. The mood change took everyone by surprise. A group of friends enjoying a drink became, once again, adversaries. They had been through a lot that day, and only one of them would reap the rewards. For Linda, the day had been especially hard. Abby, Jan, Linda and Ellen have come a long way together, but for one of them, their journey ends tonight. Whoever knows least about the mole will be eliminated, and they'll have no chance of winning the money. Dinner that night had a mixed mood, a combination of fear and friendship. Do you actually think that we, we kind of 
manipulate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we thought that was so that funny. The phones had, had, had hidden but cameras yeah. and bugs in them. Now we're still not convinced that they don't have. No. I mean, I was in a hotel room today and I was watching Notting Hill for. I was and, flying. And I looked around, going, and I'm oh, going oh, like this. Yes, like... There's got to be a camera here somewhere. Do you think that like this level of of paranoia? Yeah. <laughs> do you, no, no. Do I'm you think crazy when I go back home? Right. I'm going to be crazy when we go back home. Saying, just because we're paranoid doesn't mean that they're not out to get us. Yeah, we sure know that it. they're out to get us. Why don't we cut out this nonsense right now? Who's the mum? Who's the mum? Abby. Who's the mum, Jen? It's me. No, I think it's me. Myself. I think it's Linda. Well. Tonight we have the last elimination. After tonight, we find out who is the winner, who is the other, who is the mole. For myself, I'd like to thank you all for your patience, for your sense of humour, <laughs> the courage you've all shown, and the ingenuity to get through this far. It's been remarkable to watch. Godspeed to those here and those no longer with us. Yeah. The stakes had never been higher. The questionnaire is about the mole and what he or she has been doing. Whoever scores lowest will be going home. I still feel it's Jan. I think possibility of Alan. You try and use your head a lot of times and then sometimes you just go with gut feeling. So with Linda, it still is a gut feeling that I don't suspect her. It's Jan or Alan. And if it's Abby, well, then I've totally lost it. <laughs> totally. My gut says Jan, which I would also be pretty devastated about because I would hate to think that somebody put on tears and somebody put on a persona to that degree, ethically, that wasn't them. Linda being the mole? It's crossed my mind. She could be the mole and really been quite comfortable doing a nude today, having done it before. But the level of her distress, she'd have to be one hell of an actor. I still think Alan. I've wavered towards Abby in the last couple of days. I think it's Jane. I don't think that the mole would go through what Linda has gone through. And I've never believed that it was or could be Abby. Friends, we're coming to the end of a remarkable journey. Three of you will travel on together a short way and one of you will leave us here. Congratulations to you all on reaching this far. Shall we begin, Jan?
she did something today that none of us is really prepared to do. She's a gutsy lady. And I'm proud to count her as a friend. Very, very proud. I miss you, baby. Linda has gone. Abby, Jan and Alan are left. One of them is the mole.